Nancy Goddess, and I'm your host tonight for Big Beautiful People and their admirers and friends. That's right. And I want to wish everybody a happy holiday and a safe one. It's a long weekend. Yes, and we is. have a special show, so don't turn that dial because we're Skyping in with somebody very special from Florida. And she's going to have a show, and you're going to see that. And the show, we're dedicating it for Father's Day, actually. Oh. It is... And that's a good one to dedicate. Oh, yes. It's a, it's a great dedication for Father's Day, because we're not going to be on for Father's Day. Oh. It's going to be very interesting, and uh, a lot of shaking is going to be going on. I saw a peek, and all I could do By the like Silhouettes like Plus. Oh, my God. It was awesome. It was and, nice. And, oh, my God, we're going to be talking with somebody very special and her name is Mr. Shimmy Von Tassel. So she's going to be on in a little while. And we also have Melissa, who's going to do a little modeling after in about 20 minutes. So maybe they can get her a chair. Very good. Because she's outside sitting. And welcome to back to the show, Dave. Thank you. It's always nice to be here. Welcome Hi, back to the show. Yes. You know that she has her own show, right? Yes. Till Division Ideas. Hill the Vision Idea. That's, That's a right. clever That's name. So wonderful. It is it's a, clever. How'd you come up with that? Matilda? Well, it really, the truth, God gave it to me. God, yeah. Oh uh, growing God. up, I had many, many wonderful ideas. And so... Cheers. Cheers. So, so Cheers. Till the Vision, it's my vision plus all those ideas that God gave me. So that's why I called it Till the Vision Ideas. Oh now, goodness, the word that's vision... Wonderful. A lot of people say, well, you have the word vision. You don't need ideas. But it's so many. And so God if anybody has a dream, call in with your dream because you have about 20 minutes before we go on with the next show and we start mm -hmm. showing all those girls and dancing. And Ooh, don't say too much. Like, my God. Oh, we I saw it. I was it just. All, right? The men, don't change that. And the women, too, because it's going to be a lot of fun. If you ever go to Florida, go visit. I saw some of the outfits. They're really nice. Oh, they're nice. Yes, they're, they're beautiful. Really nice. And we have her Skyping in. So we're going to be That's talking with her in a little bit. You know, Matilda, I had a dream, and I remembered everything. Oh, wonderful. And I woke up. I was like, oh, happy. It's a happy dream. But I don't know if it was so happy, because at the end, my ex-boyfriend was in the dream. Oh, oh, my God. It was so weird. So um, it was a wedding. I was oh, going I to a wedding. Actually, I was watching. There was a line of people, like a whole block of people lined up. I mean, like a whole block full. And then at the end was my girlfriend. I won't mention her name. With a somebody who she wasn't supposed to get married with, but she did for some reason. It was the weirdest thing. So it was your girlfriend's wedding? Yes. Okay. And there's a, an element of surprise, it's called, because she was marrying someone that she was not supposed to. Not supposed to, to be marrying. That's her best friend. Mm -hmm. And that oh. wasn't supposed to happen, but it was only in a dream, and she said, I had to do it in order f to marry the other one. I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't get that. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yes. She had to do step one before she could go and do step two, which yes. was really her first It was a choice. setup. Yep. Yeah, she it's married her. Yes. yes, it was a setup. She had to marry him. So, okay, I was, it was happy. It was a happy dream. And then at the end, my ex-boyfriend came into the dream. And he used some, some Turkish name, like a curse. And he goes, oh, my God. Anyway, I've been waiting for you. Where have you been? And then I woke up. Uh -huh. And he was happy that my girlfriend was marrying this guy. Mm -hmm. because he was always jealous of that guy. He, he was oh. jealous. What about you? How did you feel when you woke up? I said, oh, wow, this was a happy event. Very happy. What were you wearing? Do you remember? Yes, a, a, a nightgown with flowers. A nightgown? With flowers. Wow. Okay. Wow. I know. So <laughs> interesting. I so know, I said, but what was that all about? Oh, my God. Someone's already it's calling a you. show. <laughs> Somebody's calling me. Well, hello. You just reached Goddesses. We're on live. I'm sorry, I got the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But you still ended up on TV. <laughs> <laughs> At least All right. Nice so that was a live call, and that was Michael, actually, my son. But he didn't know I was having a live show, so now he's going to watch us. Okay. So, okay. yeah, and so it was funny. So, okay, so a wedding. A wedding is a celebration. It's also a beginning. It's a new beginning for married couples. So, it, so look at it as new beginnings for you. A new beginning for me? Yes, for you because you're the dreamer. Mm. Interesting. Oh, so it was a happy nice. dream. And okay. it is a happy dream. It's a no, celebration. No, it was a happy dream. It was a celebration. There were so many, so many people, hundreds of people online. 
It was oh, they were on, on line? They were standing on line. And yes, the line they was were like on line. I was like, but they're on line. And at the end of the line was yeah. the people getting married. And then I was at the other end of the line mm -hmm. in a car sitting down watching. Oh, so you oh. were inside a car? Do you I'm know if you were driving or something no, else? No, I wasn't driving. No one was driving. No one I was, was just sitting there. You were just sitting there uh, as if to wait. Well, okay, so the wedding is a celebration. Okay, we, we got that. It's a new beginning. But I, I also thought perhaps it could also mean death. Oh, I hear you. you a lot of people do that. Could that, mm, that could be possible? Uh, well, but it's, when it I woke up, a, I was happy. Well, a new life, a new beginning, it's also a transformation mm -hmm. is involved. Right. Okay. But don't look at it as death because nothing else no, in between. No, I just it came for a moment. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you had this uh, nightgown. I had a nightgown with yeah, flowers on. I think on. that's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, it is very interesting. Why is that? Be because one usually does not wear a nightgown to go to a wedding, right? No. Okay. But I was in bed. You were in bed. Right. Not at the wedding I was wearing a no, nightgown. No. I of didn't course, even you were visualize dreaming. myself what I had on. All I saw was my face. I didn't see the clothing I had on. Mm -hmm. I just saw a face. Mm -hmm. Was anyone else inside the car? No. Mm-hmm. What actually, color was the no, car? Actually, no, my ex-boyfriend was talking to me, actually, but I don't know if he, he was, like, approaching me, talking to me. That's okay. all I remember, and then I woke up. Do you recall anything that was said? Yes. He said, where have you been? And, and I've been else? looking for you. Wow. And then he cursed wow. in well. Turkish. Amanachak <laughs> means what the F, but it's a curse word. <laughs> but we, I don't that. really want to repeat Look the at curse that. word. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And in the dream, you understood him perfectly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything was clear. Like it was Where real. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. That that's so, so sweet. It, yeah. So wonderful. But mm -hmm. that's not true. I mean, that he was looking for me. No, but, but it was in a dream. dream. It was in a no, dream. No, no, but dreams are real, Nancy. You, you know, we're, we've shared this. Mm -hmm. Dreams are really just a different realm. That's all. But I woke up fine, and today I'm here, and we're celebrating. We're having a great time. We're among friends. And it's, it's fun being here. And we're in our studio. It's a smaller studio than but normally. Isn't it comfortable? But it's great. It's very friendly. It is. It's cozy. And, and she's got that great rock your curves your on. Rolls, rock your rolls. Rock your rolls. I love everything yeah. it says. It's so it positive. It says a lot of things that's positive on it there. It says beauty, inspiration, um, It says classy, fearless, mm -hmm. humble. And the curtain behind you is royal blue. The lighting, the ah. Renee did a beautiful work. Hey, yeah. So, work. so yeah, yeah. Javi has a magazine out, a magazine online. Yeah, yeah, BBW Beauty's magazine. And I also have the Fat and Loving It, which stands for Pretty Hot and Loving It. <laughs> I have that. Sounds like fun. It's always body positive. It's for uh, self, you know, loving yourself, self-esteem, mm -hmm. loving yourself at any size, male, female, it does not matter. Mm -hmm. It's accepting who you are at the time. Don't wait to lose weight to begin your life. Begin your life at no, the moment. No, of course. I always say that. Live today, not tomorrow. Yeah. How long have you had the magazine? Actually, almost seven years. Heavens, okay. Yeah, it's only been on hiatus for a little bit because I'm taking care of my mom, as you know. I but know. But we're still it's working on all of that. It's It's a lot of work to Yeah, that. And Nancy had a lot to do with it because she was my inspiration, as many other women. But, you know, she pushed me in a way uh, nice. when I first met her. Remember I told you I sneaked out the house to go to your party? I was so scared. Oh, my God. She sneaked out of the house. Yeah, to go to a party, and I never regretted it. And she gave me the opportunity, and I always said I'll always be there for you. And because you believed in me, she showed me another part of who I was and nice. who I am. And I didn't even know. Nice. Nice. Uh, excuse me. Oh. So you mentored her. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Pretty good. Yes, yeah, she didn't even know that there were men out there who really can appreciate her on who she is. No, my family always and said her, nobody's and gonna love, love her you. and love her, you know, the way she is, just her size. Yeah, they always told me nobody's gonna love a big girl, so you better stick with the guy you got. And he was very abusive, uh, you know. But I thank God that because of her and what she <laughs> was doing and still doing, you know, she's the godmother of all of this. She okay. helped me, and because she helped me. My daughter came into uh, to this, and then because of that, then a whole bunch of things. She is the trunk of the tree. Uh, <laughs> not, Thank you. But, you know, metaphorically yes, speaking, no, no. that you started this, and there's so many outlets, so many branches that oh, are yes, growing. Oh, yes, they and have. Talking about branches, later on we will show some other people that are, we're going to Skype in. 
That's awesome. Yes. Oh, can I tell her about my crazy dream? You know I would have crazy Go dreams. Go ahead. Let's okay. see what Matilda said. <laughs> I know. Besides that, I'm a nut job and need to be medicated. Double. Oh, my gosh. So this dream was really freaky and crazy. I think it should be a sci-fi movie. I was dreaming. All of a sudden, I saw these girls in the street doing a dance routine, like a dance troupe. And they called me over. Hey, Dobby, look. Check this out. And I saw something at the end. And I'm like, yo, I don't think you should do that. I think you should start doing your MA, uh, martial arts, because what's coming ahead, it's, it's, it's crazy. We're all changing, we're all transforming. And then I remember I was walking down the street and then I just hopped on one leg and I was going higher than I ever thought. And I'm like, what the heck? It's like superhuman power like this. And then I jumped on the left leg and it was even going higher, like to the second story, third story. I'm wow. like, this is crazy. You were I'm elevating. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I couldn't even believe that I was going, I was just doing a little <laughs> jump and it was going, I was going so high. And then I, I pulled a curtain back and I told the ladies, you see that? And something appeared, like a, not like a spaceship or something. It was Nobody could see it, but it would like <laughs> appear and disappear. Something's coming, so you guys better prepare. Go hit your books, do your MMA, do your martial arts. We've we got to get ready for this fight. Wow. Hey, that, that, that's crazy. a very deep dream, oh, and it has a lot it in it. It's a pretty interesting uh, dream. Yep, and yeah. even though uh, you're telling them you better get ready, that's it, it's really for you for you to get hit the books it's really for you for you to get ready and the fact that you you take one little hop and you really elevate well that means you're going to be uh, growing in leaps and bounds you've heard the expression yeah. so what you do in okay whatever you dreamt apply it to you as if someone out there is telling you oh well, i got you yeah and the, and you apply it say oh so i have to hit the books what do i have to learn so go and to me hey yeah and <laughs> even though you told them you know about dancing perhaps you should look into it for yourself um mm -hmm. That's good. It's, oh, yeah. it's a good, it's a wonderful dream. Yeah, it, I used to do martial shows, arts and stuff. You did. So it's, it's progress. Uh -huh. It's moving forward. And not only, do you know, we, we don't grow linearly. You know that. We don't grow this way. We, we grow this way. You know that, right? Like waves. Like waves. So you're growing. Mm -hmm. right. Become aware that that's happening. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> nice to have someone who can help you out. I thought yeah, she was going to so say double up. Yeah, so if there's anybody out there, viewers, that want to call in about a dream, You'll have a chance to call in now um, before Matilda goes away because she's here for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. When does your show air? My show airs every third Friday. We do it live. It's just like Nancy's show. Every third Friday on Channel 34. And then it airs again, and I always forget these dates, every um, Saturday at 12 noon and every Sunday at 8 p.m. Oh, uh, okay. Channel Those 56. are good times because I have Friday and Saturday. I'm on Friday nights and Saturday oh, nights okay, wonderful. at 11, late uh -huh. at night. Oh, that's nice. So it's, um, mm -hmm. you know, just keep track of Till Division ideas. And yes. Uh, and, and goddesses. Mm -hmm, of Absolutely. Course. And talking about goddesses, we have a little beach gathering Ooh. July the 9th at Reese Park at Bay 2 at 10 o'clock in the morning. We're all going to meet oh, there. Nice. So if you want to come, join us. I could bring thorns. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> bring your bathing suits. And I didn't say it was for me. Else. I said I'll bring them for him. Oh, okay. And Whoever. if there's any cabana boys out there who want to help us, we need some volunteers to put that lotion on. Oh, yeah. So we don't get burned. Yeah, I'll bring the 64 ounce. You could go at all three of us. <laughs> and, um, you yeah, know, no, it's nice there. It's quiet. Um, there's parking. I'd love to go. I haven't been to the beach in a hot minute. Well, that'll be July 9th at 10 a.m. What day, day is two. it? That is on a Saturday. Saturday, okay. So July 9th is on a Saturday. It should be nice. And then after that, if everybody feels up to it, we can go home and uh, maybe meet somewhere at a little uh, place. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really yes, nice. And have some you coffee. do this frequently, once a year? We do it once a year, and then perhaps we might have one more in August. Oh, nice. We're just going to get to our July 9th beach gathering first. So everybody can bring their own things to eat and drink. I mean, there's a stand there, but they don't always have everything that you need, so it's best to bring your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, everybody's diet is different. Absolutely. You look very fabulous. I keep saying that, and oh, I can't stop you. looking like at the your colors. Ear. I really want it to be red, white, and blue. I mean, you're very festive for Memorial, and, and so is Matilda with the red and you're with the blue, but I didn't make the blue today. Couldn't find my blue pen, so put but on beige. But you still look fabulous. Oh, thank you, thank right. you. I love your hair today. Your really? hair, you're the bangs. It's the oh yeah. bangs. Yeah, I love it. Oh. Yeah, I leave it. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Looks good. It looks great. Maybe I need to do that. Cut bangs. <laughs> I it know it I always do. helps a little bit. Bangs. Look, I got this forehead. I could rent it out for space. I need to cover it. <laughs> no, no, that's good. That shows that so you're very intelligent. So Matilda, do you have a lot? Do you actually dream? 
Yes. Okay. You so do. I do dream, um, and I you and I dream. always write my dreams, even though I don't get to analyze and work with them. But I write the story. The storyline is whatever you dreamt. You put all the details, whether it was night or day, whether if there was water, whether the water water was cloudy or clear, whether there were birds or animals or things, people. Write everything, including your feelings. How were you feeling in the dream? And the thing, the next thing to do, if, if someone spoke, write their words verbatim as ah. they spoke them. Yes, and if, if you had a but thought, write it, I oh, thought. Oh, you have a thought, but I mean, I don't always remember my dreams. This well, is the first time I ever remembered I know, that the was very whole good. complete dream. Okay, so what happens, Nancy? Because dreams are very elusive and they leave us just like a thought. Yeah, it, yeah. So the well, idea is like to write it down. Real. This was so surreal. us to remember I it. was really living this. It's wonderful. Wow. So someone's going to get married. And I can't get over the fact that you said you had a nightgown and it had like flowers on it. I think that's so like soft Very. and delicate. Yes. Because the <laughs> nightgown is always comfortable. No, when you go to bed, no, it's flowy. It's, yes. Yeah, it's flowy. It's nice. And I can see like a whole bunch of different flowers, mm -hmm. like be beautiful pastel colors. And, and the dream itself was telling her, you're dreaming, you're in your nightgown. But you didn't really catch that. But I did. So, so because it's inappropriate to wear, you know, uh, was it a night gown or a, a gown? A night gown to yeah. sleep. To sleep. And it was pretty and, and flowers. Um, flowers al always give you the impression of new growth. And it's growth with beauty in it. Yes. And well, color and hear. texture Great. and fragrance. Usually, even though the flowers were not physically in the dream, but you had a painting of them. You know, you right. had right. They were right. a facsimile of them. Uh -huh. Well, we have two great dreams. Thank you so much. Yeah, what about that young lady? You yeah, want to ask her her dream? Yeah, she's still on there. Um, actually, we, we have like a few more minutes because we do have um, Melissa outside. But yeah, Mistress Shimmy, she's right are there. you out there? Oh, hi. Hi there. Hi, hi. hi Mistress Shimmy. How are y'all? I'm good. Well, welcome to Goddesses. Thanks for having me. Wow, um, you know, I looked at your show. I really loved it. I thought it was great. I had a good time watching it. And some of the men here liked it too. And we're going to show it to the viewers later on. Awesome. Yeah, so did you have any dreams lately that you'd like <laughs> to ask Matilda or anything? Oh. I've been having a lot of strange dreams. <laughs> One of the techs has a request. They want to see a close up of the tattoo on her chest. Oh, oh. someone <laughs> here. Wants to see your tattoo, a close-up of your tattoo. I was wondering what. The it's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Oh, we need to do a close-up, Joey. We want to do a close-up of your butterfly. Do it, do it again. Do it again. So that again. everyone could see your butterfly. Just hold, hold, it, hold it open. It. Can and you we're do, do a close-up close of her butterfly? Oh, it flies. <laughs> That's <laughs> Mistress <laughs> Shimmy. Oh, yay, <laughs> Mistress <laughs> Shimmy. Been laughing. That's uh, did that. How long you have that butterfly? Since about 2010. Wow. Did that hurt? That's when my transformation kind of started. Oh, about, about your you. dancing? Is that when you... It was about finding the love within myself. Mm. And once I started finding that love, I was able to start changing. Oh, look. I see the butterfly moving. Now it's a beautiful it, yes. butterfly. Love it. Oh, wow. my God. Oh, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> that butterfly is fluttering. That butterfly wow. wants to take I love off. It. So I can't wait when I go back to Orlando. Uh, I'll check out your schedule and come visit you. It's always on the first Thursday. First Thursday. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Every first Thursday in Orlando. So when we go visit, we'll go see the show. That'd be nice. Ask her what the show is about. What is your show about? Although I know, but Matilda doesn't know what your show is about. Most people would assume that our shows are about like seducing men, but that's not what burlesque is about. Burlesque is about empowering women. Okay, but I think I saw the show and I didn't, didn't see anything wrong. And the outfits were beautiful. Yes, they were. All I right. mean, uh, it was like a ca it was a cabaret show. I mean, we love entertaining and we love having fun, and it's like a sisterhood. Oh. It's wonderful. How many how many ladies do you have in your group right now? Um, I think right now I have eight. Oh, that's wonderful. Eight ladies. And how do you find them? Uh, most of them actually come to the shows and they're so empowered. They're after the show, they're like, I want to be a part of this. How can oh. I be a part of this? 
Oh, that's so. wonderful. Oh, so nice. if you live out in Florida and if they want to participate, they can send you an email. They sure can. And where can they find you? Silhouettes uh, Orlando at gmail.com. Silhouettes? Silhouettes Orlando at gmail.com. Okay, sounds like a plan. So I have Melissa that's going to be coming in. Her name is Melissa. She used to model for us. So she's going to be coming in, and she's just going to be wearing just one outfit. It's a nice black jumpsuit. Jumpsuit, and she's going to model, and then she's going to sit on the chair. So um, we're going to put our hands together for Melissa. Okay. Are you come going on, to Melissa. Me? She's asking me, should I come in? Come okay. on in, Melissa. Hi. Yeah, hi. So yeah, she's cute. She's like a reddish blonde strawberry. Uh -huh. How you doing, Melissa? I'm good. How are you? Come on over. Hi. I'm not quite sure what it's saying. It's a smaller studio. How are ladies know. doing? I'm not used to the small studio, yeah. but this is Melissa, everybody. Hello. And yeah, I love your outfit. You look fabulous. I'm trying to waiting for an occasion to break this out, so I thought today would be perfect. <laughs> oh, don't be shy. I'll hold your um, yeah, I'm not quite microphone, sure. and you can like twirl around a little bit. <laughs> Not much of a twirler, but let's Just see. Just a little bit slightly. Careful. Yeah. It looks really nice. Oh, yeah. You look very nice. Yeah, yeah. Be so, careful. Yeah, Move we a don't want you closer. to get electrocuted over here. Oh. But um, I'm sure somebody out there Thank wants you. to put the mic on you. <laughs> the men out there <laughs> want to put microphones on. <laughs> Thank you, Matilda. Love you. you. Nice you. Come back again. What? Love you, Matilda. Mm -hmm. No, this way. So we're going to take this off you, and you're going to come sit. She has Matilda's microphone. Oh, you're going to use Matilda? I have no So that right what, that's uh, Melissa, everybody. Gotcha. And Melissa used to come here once upon a time a few years ago. Oh, I think she came cool. on, Daddy. Yeah. Uh, it's been it was... quite a while, right, Melissa? It's How long has it been? It's been about a year and a half. It's been a while. Oh. Wow. Yeah, but every time I come on here, I always feel so good about myself. I've been watching, like, like I told you, Nancy, I've been watching the show since I was this big. I know, uh, I know. So. I miss your mom. Oh, she's watching She's watching right the now. show. She's going hi, crazy mom right out now. there. Yeah, miss wishes. you. Hi, mom. Hi, Danny. Grandpa. Christian. Everybody. Hi, everybody. Oh, Ashley, Audra. I can't go through oh the whole list. Oh, my God. And the, uh, she bought beautiful uh, cookies tonight. I know. I couldn't oh, help they were it. fabulous. I know people who I work with know exactly what I'm talking about at Delisandro's. I mean, Sandros. where, wh wh where did you get those cookies from? From my job. It's, if you're from Flushing, you're aware of the place. It's a Italian specialty supermarket called Delisandro's. It was and great. They were delicious. Anyone, they were all gone. Anyone, oh yeah, anyone who works at me, they know I'm, I'm like a junkie with those cookies. that They I've, were great. Yeah, thank, you, so. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. I was happy to bring them, yeah. I'm ready for the beach. You know what I got for Mother's Day? I got these sunglasses. What do you think about them? They really they look good, yeah. I was yeah, looking at them good. before. They're actually, they're prescription, so I don't even have to use my glasses, but for the show, I thought there would be too much to leave them on. Oh, it looks oh, really they cool. look nice. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they cool. look good. I love them. They look really good. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Michael. He bought them, my little grandson oh, and my yeah, son. Nice. They bought me these glasses. <laughs> they're cool. great. I love them. So now, when I'm driving, I don't have to put my glasses underneath. <laughs> oh, that is so convenient. Yeah, so they're That's prescribed. True. I know. They're great I've done that. sunglasses. Yep. That was my oh. mommy day. So how did you spend your Mother's Day? How was your mom for Mother's Day? Oh, wait, what would we do? It was just, she, she's very simple. Just keep no dishes in the sink. And <laughs> that's really all she needs. I, you know, she's very simple. We spent the day in, eight. that's it. Very oh, simple. Oh, great. So you had a good Mother's Day. Yeah, very good. I, I love my mother. You know, I try to take care of her as much very as possible. Good. Yeah, good. so it's my best friend. So this is Davier, but have you ever met her before? Uh, no, not prior to today. Oh, okay, no. that's Melissa. Pleasure. Tell How are you Melissa doing? a little bit doing? about what you do. Well, I'm the CEO and editor of VW Mag uh, Beauty's magazine. Okay. We've been in circulation for seven years. Oh. And it's a body positive magazine. We we have uh, pictures of fashion shows that we attend, uh, new fashions, new designer, makeup, food, uh, the. Uh, the BBW admirer of the month, and of course was Nancy Esposito's this idea, which I think okay, is awesome. Thank oh, you. that is awesome. Which is awesome, you know. And I um, also have a blog which is called Fat and Loving It, uh -huh. which you know products and all stuff. And right. my daughter has one, which uh, is Curvy Girl on a Budget. Oh, that's you cool. Know, we go to different events. Uh, it's everything to be positive. That's great. Oh, you know we have a phone call. Hello, phone uh -oh. caller. Hello, Nancy. I know that voice. Who is this? <laughs> this is Lisa, Hi. Melissa's mother. Hi, Hi Lisa. Lisa. How Hi, are you? I'm doing great. How was your Mother's Day? It was great. I had a wonderful
ample time, and uh, I had dinner at my son's house. Joey and Michael got me these glasses. You have to yeah, lower I hear TV, you in the background. my dear. We hear all the background, Lisa. Oh, well, let me... You have to turn the volume off, sweetie. Yes. She's excited. I'm trying. Just turn the volume you... Well, now I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, Danny, you can be on the phone. Yes. Okay, oh, well, my daughter looks beautiful. Uh, thank you, Mom. Uh, Mistress Shimmy, how are you doing out there in Florida? You have Mistress Shimmy out there, too. Hi. How are you doing? You can interact in our conversation if you like. To Shimmy? Yes, her name is Mistress Shimmy Von Tassel. Ah, she must be good shimmy. -er. Melissa could shimmy. Oh, oh yeah. Don't put me on the spot, please. <laughs> well, if you go to Florida, you can join the silhouettes, Melissa. Oh, boy. Maybe we'll teach you a thing or two. Uh, I'm oh. Oh. Oh, hi. So, <laughs> if you're so just beautiful. tuning in, you're watching goddesses. Of big course. Men, women and men who love them and their friends. Yes, and we're all watching beach, goddesses. We're having a beach party, Lisa, July the 9th at Reese Park. That would be excellent. Uh, that's going to be in Bay 2. And I still hear the background with her TV. Danny, you didn't get to lower the phone? I hear the whole background, Lisa. I'm going to have to let you go. Okay, honey. Okay, I just want to say thank you. Bye -bye. I love bye -bye. Melissa. I'll be home in a bit. Take care. Yeah, bye-bye. Thanks for calling. No, you see, what happens is when the callers call in, they're going to ha they have yeah. to leave the volume completely off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. so because when they speak to me, they can hear me on the phone. Yeah. When, you know, on the telephone. My mom is very loud to But, yeah, with, so. I love your outfit. <laughs> Melissa, you look great in it. Didn't you look great in it? More. Can you stand up? I you want to know something about yes. Look at it, look you at look it. look great. It's Hi. Beautiful. I said one thing about this outfit. It was actually by neighbors, and <laughs> it was a hand-me-down. No, no, it looks much. great it looks on you, so. Melissa. Oh, yes. <laughs> so mom says you can do shimmy. Oh, all look right. I mean, these are big, giant breasts. I could do a lot with them. So, um, I'm gonna put an eye out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Do it again. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Here, the pervs back there. It's me to shimmy. <laughs> yeah, she could shimmy. <laughs> but um, you're having a good time. Yeah. And so, now that you met with Davin, you could connect with her online and make friends with her online, and maybe you could write a little article online.